Uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, our 10th night of action here for the 2024 winter spring season. Nine races this evening. I'm your track announcer, Tony Kalo. Let's open up our programs. Here are tonight's changes. In the opener, scratch three, enjoyment. Three, enjoyment out of the opener. Six, kick rocks, kid, two pounds over the weight. Race one begins the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. Ready for the Thursday night opener. And there they go. Good start, Mr. Cunningham. Deus Ex Machina also quickly into stride. Cog attends the pace from the outside. Here comes Neo King and I-95 from the rail. I-95 wants to mix it up. Kick Rocks Kid races with Swimming with Sharks. Brent Spence is the early and distant trailer. Deus Ex Machina battling for this top spot. I-95 matches him from the inside. Mr. Cunningham is third, surrounded, Cog from his outside, Neo King from his inside. Swimming with Sharks, a little more than three and a half off the two pacemakers, trying to advance from the inside in the fifth position, or in the sixth spot, I should say. Another length back to Kick Rocks Kid, and it's a long space to Brent Spence, who's the distant trailer. I-95 trying to shake clear from Deus Ex Machina. I-95, the one to come and catch near the quarter pole. Cog's beginning his move. He gets within three lengths. He's closing in steadily. Mr. Cunningham, a good four and a half off the pace. Neo King from the rail. I-95 turns into the lane with the lead. Deus Ex Machina's trying to re-rally from that second spot. Up the inside comes Neo King. Kick Rocks Kid is trying to close in. Cog's also trying to make his presence felt. Now Deus Ex Machina has reclaimed the lead as I-95 backpedals. Here's Neo King up the inside. Neo King at 15 to 1 in the opener from Deus Ex Machina. Kick Rocks Kid checks in third. And maybe I-95 fourth for the super. He's in a photo there with Mr. Cunningham and Cog. Biggest price on the board. Number four, Neo King. 15 to 1. Nice rally along the inside, getting the job done. One I-95 looked like the horse to come and catch at the quarter pole, but boy, he sure caved it in pretty quickly. Five Deus Ex Machina re-rallied. He's second, third place six, Kick Rocks Kid. Photo required for fourth. The final running time, 120 and 52, 100. And the winner's circle is for Neo King. Neo King is a four-year-old dark bay or brown gelding by Neolithic out of the Pioneer of the Nile Mare, my prized lady, owned by Just for Fun Stable. Michelle Elliott is the winning and trainer. The winning jockey is Andres Uyoa. That exact $279.58, the trifecta $425.90. Ten cent super three hundred seventy eight dollars thirty seven cents dollar superfecta thirty seven hundred eighty three dollars seventy six cents. Second race will kick start the early pick four sequence three and five both scratch flowery path everything bugs me three and five out of tonight's second race number four anointed of God three pounds over and tonight's second race twenty two minutes away at six twenty four. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights, like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go, a slow start, anointed of God. Axi Superfly shoots out to the lead. Here comes passing by you to apply some pace pressure. Sanctifies up close, Rosalie May in behind the leading three. Farther out, Honor's Legacy with voice from above, classy and connected as five lengths from the pace. And the early trailer is anointed of God. So it is Maxi Superfly wasting no time asserting herself. She has the lead, a length and a tail. Passing by you's in the second spot. And Rosalie May is third along the inside. Sanctify has the fourth position, and she's two and a half lengths off the lead. 
There goes Classy and connected from the far outside. Voice from above, three or so, three and a half off the pace. Honor's legacy goes with her, nothing yet from anointed of God. Maxi Superfly crawling up front, 25 seconds. She controls the pace pretty impressively to the far turn run. Here's Classy and connected, trying to make a move with Sanctify. And the fourth spot is passing by you, but she has been headed. Here's Rosalie May from the inside. Maxi Superfly, 51 and one fifth, pretty sensible flow for her. Classy and connected, tries to turn up the pressure on her. Rosalie May is under a drive from third. Sanctify has the fourth spot. Maxi Superfly, tested by Classy and connected from the outside. Maxi Superfly confidently handled along the inside. Classy and connected is second. Maxi Superfly takes off from her rivals. Boy, look at this gal. Maxi Superfly. Rosalie May second, then voice from above and sanctify. Maxi Superfly, super impressive. Rosalie May checks in second in a photo with sanctify. Voice from above, fourth for the super. Maxi Superfly, pretty impressive score. Never in doubt. Classy and Connected gave her a little bit of a run near the quarter pole, but you could see Walter Rodriguez had a filly that had a ton left. Maxi Superfly at 6 to 5, 142 and 21 one hundredths. Got tight for second. Make sure to hold all tickets. Maxi Superfly, indeed, she is Superfly, a sensational victory in tonight's second race. Very stylish victory for this three-year-old chestnut filly by Optimizer out of the Tappet Mare Firefly. Maxi Superfly is owned by Maxis Stable, Foster Family Racing, and Chris Vitali. Eric Foster is the winning trainer, the winning jockey, Walter Rodriguez. Here is Maxi Superfly. She was bred in Kentucky by Calumet Farm. Ten cent super, twenty-two dollars sixty-two cents. Dollar super vecta, two hundred twenty-six dollars twenty cents. Six one exacta, fourteen dollars forty-eight cents. Six one nine trifecta, sixty-three dollars twenty-four cents. Four six early double, sixty-three dollars eighty-six cents. Third race offers a double and a mid pick three. One and nine both scratch. Thought that counts at midnight ambition. One and nine both scratch from tonight's third. Six Geike with an additional workout. This was back on the 17th of November, Churchill training. It was fast that morning, a half mile move, 47 and four fifths, breezing out of the gate. Tonight's third race at 22 minutes at 6.54. And there they go, slow start, a brother Rice. Evening news is showing good zip from the inside. Mr. Mello going with him. There's Dumond from the outside with 10 bits. Early money. Publius is into the action early. From the inside is Prince Colton. He has the black silks and he's within two and a half lengths of the pace. From the far outside races Vol again. Too far out of it. Sky Key and Brother Rice. Evening news. Mr. Mello Publius attends the pace from the outside in third. Prince Colton tries to close in along the inside. Dumont's in the clear with the Godolphin colors. And he's four lengths off the lead, a length back to fall again. Early money loses some ground. Brother Rice is trying to pick up his tempo. Likewise for Sky Key as they join 10 bets. Still evening news, 23 seconds. Pretty soft opening quarter for the level. And it is evening news, the one to come and catch. There's Prince Colton into second. Dumont picks up his stride to the far outside. Evening News still with the lead at the top of the lane. And coming a calling is Prince Colton. Dumont from the far outside. Evening News the one to still reel in at the eighth pole. Evening News by two lengths. To the outside is Prince Colton. Dumont is third. Evening News tends to his business. Evening News safe and secure. Prince Colton second, Dumont third. Mr. Mello finished fourth for the Superfecta. Evening news, a good looking winner from tonight's third race, 119 and 83, 100 the final time. Seven to two, a lukewarm favorite. He'll be heading to the winner's circle. A five, Prince Colton, second. Third place, 11, Dumont. Fourth place, three, Mr. Mello. Two, five, 11, three, unofficially in tonight's third. 
In the winner's circle is a number two evening news. Winner's circle in our paddock this evening. The evening news, a three-year-old dark bear brown cold by Nyquist. Out of the Bernardini mare, in Prieta. The evening news is owned by Three Chimneys Farm, LLC. Winning trainer is Steve Asmussen, winning jockey Luan Machado. When it was bred in Kentucky by Charles Dieters. 10 cent Superfecta, $87.58. Dollar Superfecta, $875.82. 2 5 Exacta, $45.74. 2 5 11 Trifecta, $70.99. 6 2 Dollar Double, $12.59. 462 early pick three, $263.90. Tonight's fourth race will start our 20 cent single six a jackpot, a nice carryover, $27,671. In tonight's fourth race, we have quite a few scratches one, two, three, a five, and nine. Risky Shot, Marmalade Sky, Tartan Green, Kara and Colleen, and Cromaldi. One, two, three, a five, and nine. All scratch from tonight's fourth. There will be no super fact of wagering. Six Wicked Frost. She has an additional workout. 12th of January, Turfway Park. Fast as always, 3-8, 38 seconds breezy. And there they go. And Scatley remains in the starting gate. Scatley has refused to break with the other Phillies. So it is Daisy Jones and My Moon who vie for the top spot. In behind them races Wicked Frost. Better Justice is the last to four as Scatley decided she did not want to leave the starting gate. It's My Moon pressed along by Daisy Jones. They have three links on Wicked Frost. And it's better than five and a half links to Better Justice at the back marker. Daisy Jones up to the front three parts of a link to My Moon from her outside. Now it's better than four and a half links to Wicked Frost isolated in third. Another four lengths or so to better justice at the back marker. 23 and three fifths for Daisy Jones, a length plus advantage. My Moon tries to stay close from second. Wicked Frost is a little less than four lengths from the pace. And at the back remains better justice, 47 seconds. And it is Daisy Jones with the lead. And My Moon is all in from the second spot. And Wicked Frost is trying to close into the soft pace. And better justice remains at the back marker. And despite Daisy Jones going slowly, here's Wicked Frost up to the front in hand. And Wicked Frost has found the front at the 16th, and she's kicking clear. Wicked Frost running away from Daisy Jones. My moon, they're in a photo for that second spot. Better Justice checked in four. Inquiry signs up on the board. The stewards want to see what happened to Scatley at the start. So make sure to hold all tickets. Unofficially, six Wicked Frost is the winner. 120 and 66 one hundredths the final running time. Very tight photo for second place. Once again, the inquiry sign is on the board. The stewards are looking at number eight, Scatley, at the start. Wicked Frost is a four-year-old gray around Philly by Frosted out of the Broken Val Mare. Spoken, not broken by Greenhill Racing Stables Incorporated, along with Robert Albert Calabrese. Winning traders are Jeffrey Greenhill and the winning jockey John McGee. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Fred Hertrick III, along with John Fielding. And tonight's fourth race is official. 626 pick three, $35.28. 6-7 exact at $28.74. 6-7 10 trifecta, $14.86. 2-6 daily double, $28.59. Race five will begin our late pick five, a 4, 12, and 14 all scratched. 13 draws in off the also eligible list. Alberto Burgos, new jockey eight, high fashion K. Our fifth race, 22 minutes out. 7.55 is the post time. And there they go. And showing pace is high fashion, Kate. Jilly's West is there. So too is Villy Olento. Here's Sandrina Love striding into the third spot. She's splendid. Races with two sip Sally. They're a little less than six lengths off the lead. Two and a half lengths to Caladium. Advancing inside a fly high birdie. Ticket to fly is third last. White Dove second last. And the early trailer 
is Halcyon Days. High Fashion Kate makes the lead. A length and a half from the outside is Jilly's West. Sandrina Love is third, and she has about four lengths to make up on the leader heading into the turn. Two Sip Sally makes a bid for the third spot, trying to progress along the rail. And here comes Two Sip Sally with her run. Three and a half or four off the pace. Caladium is six lengths from the lead. As it's High Fashion Kate, the one to come and catch. High Fashion Kate from Jilly's West, who's under pressure. And trying to close in, Two Sip Sally. Caladium works away from the inside. Now one from the outside, racing inside of Sandrina Love. Still got to step up to High Fashion Kate at 21 to 1. A big leader past the eighth pole, and she is not slowing down. High Fashion Kate bombs away. She's splendid. Two Sip Sally and Caladium, they all stack up for the second spot. Here's Caladium into second. She's splendid third. Two Sip Sally fourth. How about the winner? High Fashion Kate at a big number. Bombs away. High Fashion Kate, 21 to 1. She was strong this evening. 119 and 69 one hundredths the final time. Two Caladium is up for the second spot. Placing judges want to sort out third and fourth. Alberto Burgos. He had a big night last night in just five races. He won two of them. Alberto Burgos, 21 to 1 with High Fashion Kate. An upset winner to start our late pick five. High Fashion Kate is in the winner's circle, a three-year-old at Bay Philly by De Marchilaire out of the Stormy Atlantic Mare in the Rough. And by Sarah Wells, Wayne Minnick is the winning a trader, winning jockey. It is Alberto Burgos. High Fashion Kate was bred in Kentucky by owner Sarah Wells. 8291 top four finishers exact at $305.94. Trifecta $897.41. 68 a daily double $79.20. Early pick four, $762.96. 10 cent super, $1,459.63. Dollar Superfecta, $14,596.37. Tonight's early pick five, a good one, $17,315.82. Four out of five, $106.61. Tonight's six, we'll start our late pick four. Three, six, and eight, all scratched. Louisiana Animal, Major Wager, Makar the Fast. One Sergeant Barger has an additional workout, Three Diamonds Farm. It was on the 12th of January, 3 eighths, a heavy racetrack, 37 and 4 fifths of breezy. We are 20 minutes away until the 6th, starting our late pick four, post time at 8.22. And there they go. Swift start Epimithium, all jokes aside, is showing good zip from his inside. He'll pick it up. Here comes both Gray Charmer and Sergeant Barger. Sergeant Barger's into the second spot. Also advancing is one last hand. He makes a move for the second position, chasing all jokes aside. Epimethium is now third last from his outside Bombaloni, and Crosstown Shootout is the last of all. All jokes aside makes the pace, and he leads by a length and a half. From the outside is one last hand. Sergeant Barger buys for the second position. Gray Jarmer's in the fourth spot, joined by Crosstown Shootout, who's gone from last to fourth just like that, and he has momentum midway through the turn. Here comes Crosstown Shootout. He's in the fourth spot, and he's gaining ground on the leader, who remains all jokes aside. All jokes aside at the quarter pole, two and a half lengths. Crosstown Shootout was last early. He's rolling to the outside. Here comes Crosstown Shootout. All jokes aside, still has horse left. He's going to need it. Here's Crosstown Shootout to his outside. All jokes aside and Crosstown Shootout, a good final furlong developing. All jokes aside, Crosstown Shootout now gets the lead. Crosstown Shootout has the lead at the 16th. All jokes aside is second. Crosstown Shootout. Another one for Luan Machado. Good looking winner. All jokes aside with second. Great Jarmer third. Epimithium checked in fourth for the Superfecta. Crosstown shootout. He was last early. All of a sudden, midway through the turn, he's made a big rush into the fourth spot. And you can pretty much tell right there he was the one to recognize. Crosstown shootout. 
118 and 37 one hundredths the final time. A 7 to 2 payoff, Crosstown shootout. Second place 7, all jokes aside. Third place 2, a great charmer. Fourth place, number 9, Epimethium. Tenth career victory, number five, Crosstown Shootout, an eight-year-old at Dark Bay or a brown gelding by cross traffic out of the Cactus Ridge Mare, Sally Sally, owned by TEC Racing. Winning trainer is Jesus Esquivel. It's a riding double for Luan Machado. When it was bred in Kentucky by Ann Walsh. A 10 cent Superfecta, $15.63. The dollar Superfecta, $156.32. 685 pick three, $260.45. 57 exact, a $33.42. 572 trifecta, $33. $85 daily double, $91.37. Tonight's seventh race is a nice allowance event with an optional claiming price of $50,000. Three year olds traveling one mile. A field of 11 with 10 wagering interests. Alberto Burgos, new jockey 10, Midnight Stormy. Three great Richie M, two pounds over the weight. No overweight for Kencio. Our seventh race starting our late pick three, 21 minutes away at 8.49. Midnight Stormy, the last of 11 to the outside. Ready for the three-year-olds. And there they go. Time Muse breaks alertly with Take It and Run. Great Rich EM wants to be forwardly positioned. So too does Kencio. Take It and Run from the inside with Time Muse. Great Rich EM from between runners. And Kencio is pressing from the outside. And Jaybird Time strides into the fifth spot. And he's about four lengths off the lead. And from his outside is Midnight Stormy. Mission Ready's from the inside with Mugatu. After them races Noah's Ark, Epic Knight, and Palasso is the last of 11. Take it and run to the 5-8s with the lead. Time Muse is pressing. And from the far outside with a blitz, there's Midnight Stormy, three abreast, up the backstretch run. Kenzio's in the fourth spot. From the rail is Great Rich EM. And then we've got a Jaybird time. Jaybird time, but even farther out, Mugatu. Mission ready now advances along the inside, getting within four lengths. Jaybird time is five lengths from the front. After him is Epic Knight. Now Jaybird time's trying to pick up a stride heading into the turn. Noah's Ark's beginning his move, second last. Palazzo is still at the tail. Take it and run in Midnight Stormy. Mogatu is there. Great Richie M joins the fray. Great Richie M now two lengths off the pace. And Jaybird time continues to try to advance. Mission Ready's also crying out for room. Great Richie M finds room from the inside. Mission Ready maneuvers to the outside. He closes. Mugatu's in the battle. Great Richie M and Mugatu. Mission Ready to the far outside. Mugatu, Mission Ready, Great Richie M digging in along the inside. Here comes Mission Ready, Mission Ready at 24 to 1. Mission Ready from Great Richie M. Mugatu checked in third, a long ways back to Noah's Ark in the fourth spot. Mission Ready, 24 to 1. He rolled into the scene up the inside near the quarter pole. Tipped out under Gavin Ashton and came with a huge run at a big, big price. Big effort from three great Rich EM. Ennis and Biscuitza almost once again. Nine, Mugatu also huge in defeat. And fourth place, eight, Noah's Ark. Five, three, nine, eight. The final running time, 140 and 51 one hundredths. Please hold all tickets. Mission ready, the big long shots of three-year-old chestnut gelding by Catholic boy out of the badge of silver mare, Granby girl. Owned by Anthony Voglia. Winning your trainer is Edward Fernandez. Winning jockey, Gavin Ashton. It was bred in Kentucky by Ron Stolich. Exact of $543.82. Trifecta twelve hundred eighty eight dollars sixty one cents a five five double one hundred thirty three dollars seventy one cents ten cent super two thousand eight hundred forty five dollars eighteen cents the dollar superfecta twenty eight thousand four hundred fifty one dollars and eighty four cents better than twenty five G's for that dollar superfecta race eight is our Thursday night featured event it starts our late daily double. 
There are four scratches, one, eight, 10, and 13. The one tourist, the eight Alexa Lou, the 10 sweets maker, and the 13 gets serious. The 14, tick, 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 bow, will draw in off the also eligible list. 21 minutes away at 921. They're at the post. And there they go, stumbling start Amazon Queen, but she's part of the leader line. Navy Goats at the back of the pack. Now picking it up is White Lilacs. White Lilacs has the lead, and Bali Kuta is her pace partner from the outside. So it is White Lilacs making the pace despite shortening in distance. Her recent start a mile and a quarter. She has the lead by a length. From the outside is Bali Kuta. And from the inside races Amazon Queen. And going with her is Tick, Tick, Boom. Tick, 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 Boom from the outside. It's a break of at least two and a half lengths. And sign of peace from between runners. Take a stand from the inside. Beach Watkins, the gray, three wide. And she's six lengths from the front. It's another two to Bolsaro races with Navy Goat. And Lily Lane is the last of all. And White Lilac still has the lead. And Bali Kuta continues to chase her from second. Amazon Queen from the inside with tick, 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 boom. And the clear from the outside, making a bit into the third spot. Beach Walking and Take a Stand are trying to close in simultaneously. They're five lengths off the lead. Take a Stand going a little better. Here's Take a Stand with momentum. Here comes Take a Stand looking like one of the players midway through the third. Lily Lane and Navy Goat are trying to find their strides. Bolsaras towards the tail of the field and even farther back is Zine of Peace. White Lilacs, Amazon Queen, take a stand. Now maneuvered away from the inside and she continues with her impressive run. White Lilacs, the one to overhaul. Take a stand as a look at the eighth pole. Here comes take a stand to tackle White Lilacs and take a stand is up to the front. White Lilacs comes under pressure. Take a stand going better to the wire. Take a stand is the winner. Take a stand from White Lilacs. Amazon Queen third. And checking in fourth was Navy Goat for the Superfecta. Very nice effort. Take a stand. You could see she had a lot of momentum heading into the turn. She kept coming with this impressive run. Very professional. It took a big time effort to run down White Lilacs this evening. Take a stand, five to one under Fernando de la Cruz. 139 and 91 hundredths the final time. Four white lilacs, clearly second best. Third place three, Amazon Aquid. And fourth place goes to number seven, Navy Go 2437, unofficially in tonight's eighth and featured event. Please hold all tickets. And here is number two, Take a Stand, a five-year-old chestnut mare by Will Take Charge out of the Candy Ride Mare, Candy Crush. Owned by G. Watts Humphrey Jr. Right in Kentucky by G. Watts Humphrey. Winning trainer is Vicki Oliver. Winning jockey, Fernando De La Cruz. That exact of $56.24. The trifecta, $62.31. A $5.2 double, a good one, $245.94. 10 cent Superfecta, $80.97. Dollar Superfecta, $809.79. Five, five, two, pick three, $458.53. One more race on the Thursday card. One more race in the work week. We will be canceling tomorrow and Saturday due to the expected cold weather. So one more race here at Turfway Park. The nightcap, scratching one ribaldry, six lucky shore, nine skip and justice, and 10 Lieutenant Kitty. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Very awkward start. Wicked intent. Blue Neath fires out to the early lead. And going with her is Nora Starr. From the inside is too crowded. From the far outside races Swift Temple. Blue Neath, the quickest of all. Nora Starr lays close from the second spot. Too crowded is third. Swift Temple is in the fourth position. 
And we've got a lot of roses who races with Fredericia. Clarabel joins them three deep through the clubhouse turn. Caribbean Knight is second last in Wicked Intent, who got that awkward start. She is the last of the nine mares. And it is Blue Neath who continues with the lead. And it's almost a length. Nora Starr tries to stay close from the outside to the 5 eighths. Two crowded third, two and a half off the lead. Length and a half back to a Zwift Temple. Here's Caribbean Knight advancing very nicely. She makes a move for the fourth spot up the inside, getting within three lengths. Clarabelle, three and a half off the lead from the far outside. A lot of roses, a little less than six from the front. Wicked Intense now picking up her tempo. Here's Wicked Intent from the far outside. She's trying to close in, and Fredericia tries to quicken with her. Still with the lead, Blue Neath, and to the outside. Race is Swift Temple, and there's Clarabelle. Two crowded's in the fourth spot, and Caribbean Knight has continued to improve her position, but she's watching Clarabelle try to win this race right now, and Clarabelle has the lead. Now here comes Caribbean Knight, and also closing is Wicked Intent. They're at the top of the lane, and Clarabelle's the one to come and catch. Caribbean Knight and Wicked Intent have momentum. Wicked Intent's going better than Caribbean Knight. And there's Wicked Intent, who got away awkwardly. She still has a look near the 16. In fact, she's up to the front. Wicked Intent. Wicked Intent in the nightcap. Front and center. Clarabelle's going to try to hang on for second. Tight photo there with Caribbean Knight. We know fourth place went to Blue Neath. And we know Fredericia completed the Super High Five. Not even an awkward start could deny her in the nightcap. Got away in last. You could see heading into the far turn run, she was really starting to pick up her intensity. And she continued with this big sweeping move and powered home in the final quarter of a mile. Number 11, Wicked Intent in the Thursday nightcap. The final running time, 143 and 31 one hundredths. We'll let the placing judges sort out the balance. Please hold all tickets. Wicked Intent is getting her picture taken. She's a six-year-old gray own mare by Wicked Strong out of the Mr. Greeley mare, Elvie's Lane. Owned by Victor and Michael Klepperchuk, along with Eric Dohi and Adam Retschke. That's an ownership line that I'm going to have to work on for the future. Cayo Kiaramori is the winning trainer and the winning jockey is Gadiel Martinez. Wicked Intent was bred in Kentucky by Spen Thriflar. 11. 8 12 dead heat. Fourth place three, fifth place four. 10 cent super, 11, 8, 12, 3, 68 dollars, 39 cents, dollar super, 683 dollars, 96 cents. Eleven eight twelve trifecta fifty two dollars ninety seven cents eleven twelve exact to twenty five dollars twenty eight cents. Two dollar exact eleven eight forty nine dollars eighty cents. Eleven twelve twenty five dollars twenty eight cents. Right, this is gonna be a little difficult with the superfecta stuff. All right, there's the 11, 12, 8 trifecta, $38.45. 211 double, $38.27. 10 cents super, 11, 12, 8, 3, $44.79. Dollar super, $447.94. Pick six carryover better than $51,000. $51,087. Late pick five, look at this one, fans. $135,402.62. Better than $135,000 for our late pick five. Sensational. Late pick four, $3,385.40. And we have a super high five carryover of $2,009.26. Better than $135,000 for the late pick five. A couple of carryovers for Wednesday's card. Better than $51,000 for that 20 cent single six jackpot. And better than $2,000 for the super high five. 
That's it for the Thursday night of action. That's it for our work week. We have canceled tomorrow and Saturday due to the expected cold temperatures here in the area. We'll be back at it again on Wednesday, January 24th with a 555 first post. Sure hope you had a great Thursday night of racing. When leaving the track, please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.